What's up guys, Kurt coming at you with another five minute guitar lesson. Today's video is gonna be for Cold Water by Major Lazer featuring Justin Bieber. Today's video comes as a suggestion from Let's Make New LTN. Thanks a lot, man, for commenting and liking all my videos. I really appreciate it. Let's take a quick look at the song structure so we've got a better idea of what we need to learn in this song. So this song's got a pretty standard song structure. It's got a verse, pre-chorus, and chorus, followed by another verse, pre-chorus, and chorus, then a bridge, a chorus, and an outro. We can break this into just three guitar parts. The part that's played in the verse and the pre-chorus, the part that's played in the chorus, and the part that's played in the bridge. Learn the song even quicker by checking out the link in the description below, where you can follow along with this tutorial, but also get lyrics and chords on top of them and any other cool things covered in this video. So tune up your guitar, put your capo on your second fret, and we're ready to go. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up or a comment in the comment section below. Your feedback is what gives me the motivation to keep making more videos. As well, if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button to get access to all my latest content straight on your YouTube homepage. Okay, so starting with the part that's played in all the verses and all the pre-choruses. Now this song, we've got one chord progression for the entire song, which makes it really easy. We've got E minor, to G, to D, and then ending on a C. Okay, let's try this out. If you're comfortable with your timing, you can follow along with the strumming pattern on the screen. Otherwise, just listen and follow along with me. It's often easier that way anyways. So you're gonna start on your E minor and play down. Then the next one's gonna be up, down, switch to your G, and play down two more times. And then you're gonna do the exact same pattern from D to C. And that's really all there is to it. You're gonna play this section for the entire verse and the entire pre-chorus. Now, moving on to the chorus. We're gonna use the exact same chords, which is really nice, and a very similar strumming pattern. I'm just adding in a few more strums to make it fuller. So same chords, we're gonna do one run through from E minor to G, and then another run through from D to C. So starting on your E minor, it's gonna be down, 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 up, and you're switching to G here. Up, down, 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 up. And then gonna do the exact same thing from D to C. Down, 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 up, onto the C. Up, down, 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 up. And that's it for the chorus. Moving on to the bridge, exact same chords as before. And this one we're just gonna do single strums because it's easier. It's not gonna be quite on the beat. We're gonna be switching just before it. This one's really easy. You're just doing single strums on the chord and we're just switching here on the and of the two. One, two, and three, four. 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 And with that, we've been through every part. If you can play all of these parts, you can play the entire song. Did you like this video? Well, then you better hit the subscribe button right now so you get access to all my latest content right when I upload it on your YouTube homepage. Once you've done that, 
click on this video or that video and launch your next guitar adventure.